Hi ho neighbors, Radogoji here, and welcome to uh, another one of them quick, all-in-one-day Let's Plays, Kirby's Dream Land. I'm basically doing this because, um, this, um, well, I mean, I don't have it right now, but this is my 100th video. Yeah, a lot of people don't care too much about that kind of a benchmark, but, uh, I'm still kind of bright-eyed and bushy-tailed on this whole YouTube thing, and, um, I know the update videos are counted toward this total, but that's a small over the oversight that I'm willing to overlook. Let's start Kirby's Dream Land. My 100th video. So that's basically why I put up Baldur's Gate, and then this. And then once this is done, I will... Well, actually, this is, the, this is the day before, but, you know, I'm really excited for it, so I decided to go ahead and, uh... Yeah, I don't know why I got those either. You know, just doing whatever. This is my 100th video, and I decided to do something special, because, uh... Why not? This is a game I didn't actually have as a kid, but I did play it quite a bit because my brother had it. And I know he still got it laying around someplace, so, uh... At least technically still have it. But yeah, it's, it's Kirby. There's really not much to needs, needs to be said about Kirby. He's Kirby. Everyone knows about Kirby. So yeah, once I'm, uh, once I've posted the Kirby Let's Play, it's probably going to be two or three parts at the most. But who knows, I might be surprised and have, like, five-parter on my hands. Uh, we'll, uh, record the new Zelda and put that up later. And, uh, we're actually almost done with level one. I'm nearing the end of it. But that's what almost done means. I've also, uh, earlier today, I, um, I recorded the next three parts of Baldur's Gate earlier today, uh, parts 40 through 42, just on a whim, and I decided, well, I'm coming up on my 100th video, why not do something special, so I, uh, decided to do Kirby. I haven't really been talking too much about the game, have I? Uh... King DDD is a penguin, and he took the food from uh, Dreamland, and Kirby is going to go get it back. And uh, we just beat Wispy Woods, who's the boss of the first level, which is Green Greens. Kirby attacks by sucking up his enemies and shooting them back at other enemies. This is before Kirby's adventure, so he isn't able to get powers yet. This was actually the very first Kirby game. Oh, I could still use the microphone there. This is Castle... Low, low, low. I think is what they called it. Low, 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 as you will see, is a reference to another HAL Laboratories game. Oh, okay. Also, if you just swallow enemies, they'll just go away. And there's really nothing to collect. All we're doing is just getting from the start of the level to the finish. And that's really all Kirby's Dream Land is about. I mean, sure, later on you got... Kirby's Adventure, where you're actually able to get powers, and then, like, Kirby's Dream Land 2 started the whole... You can collect items now. We also have this invincibility here. And land on the Warp Star. Uh, there's your reference right there. Um, that little dude pushing the boxes, if you don't know, is uh, Lolo. Or Lolo Lolo, as he's called him, as, as the instruction booklet called him. Uh, he was in his own game called his own game series, actually, for the NES, called The Adventures of Lolo. And it was basically um, block-pushing puzzles. And it was fun. 
Um, I don't know if anyone had played the uh, Windows game like Bolo's Adventure or something like that. It's basically the same thing. It was based off of Lolo. Okay, that was unnecessary. I think we might only... Yep, here we are. Lolo -lo -lo and La La La, as the instruction book would call them, but... Just Lolo and Lala, I guess, is his, uh, little girlfriend's name. And they basically push boxes, and you have to suck up the boxes and shoot the boxes back at them. These guys have been, uh, redone in many later Kirby games, and, of course, you know, Wispy Woods, who was the big tree that we fought in the last level, of course, has been redone to death in the Kirby series, but, um, Lolo has been redone as well, and he has a few tricks up his sleeve, like sometimes he'll bring out spiked balls in some of the later games. Not in this one, though, in this one it's just the boxes. So we're going on to, uh, stage three, Float Islands. It's in the island level. Water. I, it's also part of a, part, mostly a water level, too. Luckily, there's no sewer level. This is a very short game. Um, there's only five levels to it. So we're uh, just about halfway through. And uh, we're only a little past seven minutes, and now I'm getting hit like crazy. I'm not going for a no death run or anything like that either. I don't, I'm probably going to die at some point. Sooner, probably, rather than later. There's also an extra mode you can unlock um, by doing a certain code sequence at the beginning of the game. I don't know if I'm going to do that or not. I mean, I'm fairly good at this game. I've beaten it so many times. But it's probably like Jetman. Um, I mean, even at the end of this game, you'll see the, um... It'll show you the control sequence at the end of this game. When you beat it, it'll show you the, uh, the code to put in to, uh, get in, put, to uh, unlock the harder difficulty. Like, uh, Jetman did. But, um... Yeah, that sentence ran around in circles. Anyway, um... Actually, after I did Jetman, I contemplated doing a very hard mode run. Um, but the problem with that was I'm not that good at Jetman, and as it turned out, um, the very hard in very hard mode in Jetman, um, you can only get hit once before you die. And um, I said no, I'm not going to do that. But I'm fair, I'm fairly sure I'm not gonna. I'm no. I don't really feel like doing the. Uh, I don't really feel like doing the uh, the extra mode in this game, the hard mode. We just picked up a uh, some curry. I think the uh, instruction book will just call it spicy food because uh, little kids in America weren't overly. Um, they. I don't know if they were overly knowledgeable on Asian cuisine, but. Uh, that is curry, and it allows you to shoot fireballs for a short period of time. So that's basically what Kirby had in lieu of a fireball attack. And we're almost done with this level now. Awesome. I'm gonna get caught in a whale. And that's a mint leaf. Basically, it, uh... I think this is the only place where you can find one, but it, but it basically allows you to float infinitely. And, uh, this is... Uh, we actually have to use this power-up in order to defeat Kabula here, who is the, um... the boss. And we constantly shoot our uh, puffs of air at it to damage it. And it actually takes quite a few hits to destroy it. It's basically just a, uh a cannon attached to a blimp. And it's gone now, so, uh... Yeah, on to Stage 4, Bubbly Clouds. 
thought it was going to take a little, uh, it's a little longer to beat this game, but... I hate Scarfies. Uh, who knows how long it'll take us to, uh... I mean, this is definitely gonna go into a, a second part. I mean, I'm fairly sure that I can't beat the game in four minutes. I don't think I can even beat this level in four minutes. I think it takes a bit longer to beat this level. This is one of the longer stages compared to the others. And, you know, fair enough, it is the second, it is the penultimate stage, and the, uh, the last stage, like Mole Mania, is just a, basically a boss rush. Although, like other, like, you know, Kirby Superstar and other games like that, they have, like, truncated versions of this game. Uh, in, in Kirby Superstar, it was called Spring Breeze, and it was basically just a truncated version of, uh, Kirby's Dream Land. And they like took out they took out Castle Lolo Lolo altogether, and uh, integrated it with um, huh, our first death. Uh, they basically integrated the Castle Lolo Lolo stage with the um, with the uh, Float Island stage and cut out the uh, Kabula boss battle. Uh, and then uh, in the DS version, which is awesome, Kirby Superstar Ultra is awesome, and you should buy it. Um, there's a, there's, there's Revenge of the King or something like that, which is a harder version of Spring Breeze, and that actually puts the Kabula battle in there someplace. Oh, and here's our first interaction with Krako, who's the boss, but he's like baby Krako or Krako Jr. or something like that right now and hasn't fully matured. And, uh, as you can see, I'm not great at fighting him. I didn't really do a practice run of this game. I just kind of went right into it. But anyway, the uh, in Revenge of the King, at the very least, I know they basically made the... Uh, they redid the, the last level so that there was a bit of platforming and stuff with it. Even though in this game, in the in the first game, this game, uh, it's really just a small bit before, uh, like, I think there's just like a small bit of walking before you get to the boss rush bit. Well, we're now at the, in the nighttime phase of the level, which means we're almost done. At least with the stage. to blast those blocks, and basically we just go up. Uh, Kirby's Adventure also had a uh, throwback to Dreamland. Uh, the last stage, I think, before you fought King DDD is a um, a, uh, a compilation of bits from all the levels of um, from Dreamland, and it you don't fight any of the bosses. Uh, but it, like, you do go through the, uh, all the sta all parts of, parts of each stage are in the level, and, uh, it, it plays the Green Greens music the whole time. Ah. That was unintentional. I think the key to Krako is staying in the air as much as possible, because you're really vulnerable on the ground. But also, keeping on the other side of the screen is a must. But you're especially vulnerable on the ground uh, if he uh, dives at you like he did the first couple attacks. Oh. That was really close. 